What's up? Why are we having an emergency meeting? Are we celebrating the tournament? That's not it! I've called you all here today because I have some very grave news. We're out of money. Is that all? You made it sound like it was a big deal. Fuji being out of money is just business as usual. You made me think the world was ending! Don't scare me over something like this! So what if we're a little short on cash? Uh, it's not a little. Our living expenses are dry. Gone. We're dead broke. I've just checked, and the account balance for our living expenses is down to a mere 50 hell. 50 hell? Forget the founding weapons. That's not even worth one sardine. Normally, I could afford a planet. But my nether card is maxed out at the moment. I'll go bankrupt at this rate. I won't be able to pay Fuji's fee either. Hey, hold up, Perilica. I thought you were rolling in dough. How can you almost be bankrupt? I bet it's all Hegon's fault. She buys piles and piles of sweets every single day. Staying in peak shape means I have to eat a lot. Sweets are a necessary expense. So what if it's a few hundred million hell? That's way over budget, glutton master. <sighs> but it's not just because of her. UP Saber Kitty delivery, meow! Ooh, my new game's here! I got three copies. One for playing, one for backup, and one for spreading the hype! Fucking UP Saber Kitty delivery. God fucking damn it, game. We're broke because you waste so much money, Shogun Stupid! You're the reason why the nether ship is full of cardboard boxes. <laughs> I'm a gamer, okay? I have to buy the games I want as soon as they drop. Motherfucker, don't do that! You spend more than an entire planet. <sighs> You've really got to do something about all these boxes first, huh? Hey, here's an idea. This flyer was in one of the boxes. It says Hinomoto Casino Grand Reopening. Oh dear God. Ooh, look at this! It looks like the top prize is a founding weapon. It's Zinchi Kitoki. It's in Casino Moto, a gambler's paradise run by the Shogunate. Ha! That's the perfect chance to make some cash. Okay, next stop. Casino Moto. Episode 5. Something harder to see than the future. Fuji, the DI battle the... Oh, no. The DI battles allow you to take on clear stages by using AI... Wait, what? Demonic intelligence auto battles, if you will. <sighs> oh, God. We're gonna have a talk, Angelo, all right? I'm pretty sure you've already mapped out some fucking optimized shit, so I'm gonna be talking to you at some point about this, okay? <laughs> Everyone's GI can be adjusted through demonic intelligence and status. However, the source of power for DI ma Poltergast will be used in DI bat wait what? Poltergast is accumulated by manually clearing stages. To plan out its use wisely. I'll give you an accumulation later. Now that you can use DI battles, the ranked battle shop has been unlocked. Connect to the Netherworld and battle other players to see who is the strongest! Job out to test out your skills. There are also rewards in store for you. Demonic intelligence allows you to set and, and edit the demonic AI used in auto battles. There are eight types of DI available. Use X to set the DI. If you don't like the way units behave under the current settings, use edit to change the DI to your preferred setting. View details on how to edit using help under the editing DI table. The wickedest all of all. Egon, Egon, just let's join your party. All right, Chichop not going to 70. 
rank this. Some quests have been unlocked. That logic Welcome panel. To the oh, shop. we've dealt with logic panels like that in disguise. Sick. That's where they started it. The 10, 20, 30. Defeat 999. Nine, nine, doesn't matter who. Defeat your own allies 9,999 9, times. Gotcha, game. Nice. Join the ranked battle shop for 3,000 hell. I'll get screwed. Mom's advice. Great. A character with an armor with mastery of 10 or higher. You can get armor tutor. Same with a sword. Same with a spear. Free, uh, get the free explode ability. I'm not sure, actually. We haven't leveled one up or seen one with it, so I'm, I honestly don't know. My You're guess is you. yes, but I'm not Welcome sure. Welcome to the quest shop. Character with 10,000 attack or higher. Lord Master of 20 and all that stuff. All right. Wait, hold on. I Did it just say I could already complete one of them? Yeah, all right. Is there an, another one? Yeah, there is. We're here for you. Just out of curiosity, this girl has 20 spear mastery, 50 sword mastery, and 20 armor mastery. She's the one that let us complete those quests just by getting her. What the hell? But she can't equip swords. She inherently has reduced stats, can't use swords despite having sword mastery. So she has all of these skills that's like, hey, look at that. That looks cool, right? Can't fucking use it. Oh god, ultimate rec uh Rekka. That's an SS plus thing. Yeah, it's it's for our hell mode superpower. Alright. Okay, every story character has an alternative color, so let's see that, alright? Idol Overlord outfits. Fucking what? Alright, Yoko Gurren Logan. Or is that supposed to be Laharl Chan? Because I see Yoko from Gurren Logan. Oh, with an idol. I mean, you are not wrong. Yes, you are not wrong. But now I see Yoko too. You see? You see? <laughs> You changed my mind, Rev. <laughs> now I can't unsee it. <laughs> now everyone will see Yoko for this character, despite it having nothing to do with the name whatsoever. I need to go, uh, get through the story to get the good ability. Yeah. You can create the Quicket, uh, Wicked Hatchments. Wicked Hatchments at the Netherworld Hospital. Wait, what? You can create secret scrolls. Just how much mana do we have to throw around right now? Because I'm pretty sure it's not that much. Yeah, Orlin has... Almost a thousand. Even with all of this, we have not gotten much mana to be available for us at the moment. So getting someone that just has 2,000 is actually good. 
Yeah, I'm just looking for some curry. Come back soon, dude. I, hmm. I remember the curry system loosely. In that, in the Sky of Five, we found a way to break it. Uh, if I remember correctly, in the Sky of Five, you could like get a hundred thimbles. Yeah, a hundred thimble curry, and you basically had a hundred percent crit chance at all times. And it would just cost you maybe what two thousand health, and you'd have it for if you did the curry right, what a hundred battles as well. I wonder if you can do the same thing here. Only two k. I don't remember how much it cost. I'm saying that as like sort of an anecdotal thing of it was very cheap to do in Sky of Five. Throw a hundred gloves inside of a curry pot and make curry out of it, and you'll get hundred percent crit chance. Because the, the curry did not care for what rank the item was or how much attack it had. It was just it is a fist weapon. So if you did 100 fist weapons, every single one of them gave crit chance of 1%. Max out at 100%. Uh, also use RP. Okay, then we're not going to use it. Just because I love my gotcha. We need more gotcha. I just need more pulls. May God watch over you. I have 24k at the moment. Try online, I am going to. We made it to the next chapter now. So I'm gonna try online. Status? What about it? You can pass on other units. Ability, she only has the one. Sword limitations. I don't think she came with any initially at all. And sword limitation, I don't think we would want on anyone else. It's just a inherently crippling ability. Check the Oh, you're right. I forgot. Hey, this is the skill shop. Let's see. Spear parry. Can parry when equipped with a spear. And then peerless. Increase the equipped weapon's ability when no armor is equipped by 200%. An intimidating aura. Decrease evasion rate for enemies within two panels by 30%. I mean, she's got some decent ones. Yeah, armor than armor, armor than accessories. It's technically everything put into the. Okay, no. Since all of them are labeled as armor, I'm assuming armor in general. Weapon and nothing else. Yeah, so that's you would I would say that would be good if we could find other stuff that boosts the like If we could find other stuff that boosts like the bonus about that, yeah. What about shoes? Again, uh hatch and slay. Everything in the armored slots, I believe, will count as armor. Including the jacket, including boots, anything. If it goes into th three slots below the weapon, it counts. Actually, I didn't look at any of the DLC abilities as well, so let's check that out. Rosalind. Oh, wait, that's right. Magic range of units. Increased crit rates. Increased water damage dealt. Water damage taken. No, she would really just want this right here. Queen's orders. 
Just so that way people in, those, in her squad would have increased magic range. With this, someone could have some good stuff. Etna had Bomber Gal increase close damage by 100% for thrown units. An ally printing on the map will cover when attacked. And Busty Killer. When, attack when attacking, increase attack by 50% against bodacious female units. Of course. Increase special damage dealt by 25%. Reduce damage taken from units below 50% HP by 50%. And without ally, decrease attack by 50%, but decrease defense power by 50%. After that, C4 had HE rounds, crit rate by 20% when guns are equipped, and Phantom Mask. Equipment ability by 20% when glasses are equipped. All stuff that a gunner would want to do damage. Crit rate by 30% when jumbo fight. Reduce moon by 5% for enemies in three rounds. Yeah, equipment ability at 10% when glasses are equipped. You have to use glasses, but then I think your equipment ability increases. I'm not sure if it affects all of them or just the glasses, though. High explosive, Angelo, right? Entertainment life when own HP is 100%. Decreased damage taken. No. Increase wound damage dealt by 30% and reduce wound damage taken by 30%. That could be okay, actually. Star damage by 20% and weakness out. Increase crit by 30% when glasses are equipped. That's not bad, actually. Yeah, from Axel of all people. He needs 250 mana. So he needs 200 mana, and then we can grab that from him. Controlled units when toothpaste is behind will recover when attacked. Boost attack power from adjacent aliens by 20%. And Plinner just had Voracious Spirit. Which, admittedly, is an incredible one to have when you want to grind. If you can spread this around, it is a very good one to have, just so that way everyone could help each other out. As far as I'm aware, there is no cap on this. So if all 10 units have that, that's 300% increased experience and mana gain at the cost of 5 ability. Having it isn't bad, yeah. Train yourself up. All right, I said I was gonna try this, and I will. Throw the cap of two hundred, yeah. I'm assuming though, like there would be a listed cap though. Want to have a ranked battle, meow? Ranked battle shop is now open. Battling against other players via the be ne uh, another network here. For some period of time, you'll earn a prize and your ranking will be reset. Make sure to battle and aim for the top. Welcome to the Rank Battle Shop. Use this to connect with other players over the network and, te and take them on in ranked battles. You can participate in the games that don't affect um, uh, your rate or ones that do. Use view rankings to choose your opponent. The Rank Battle season ends every seven days. And, your prize and you get prizes based on your rankings in the previous season. Come and join the action. Well, the game just crashed. Shit just closed immediately. Did we save? We saved before we were going to go into the squad, in, into ranked online. Before then, I went to the, um, uh, 
the other thing to see you about it. But yeah. And wait, what's going on here, Eradicate? Is it like a known thing? The same character style. Yep. Same thing on me. Same. Okay, so for the PC version, there is a bug that's just causing a crash then right now if you try to assign characters. Want to have a ranked battle now? Because the moment you would ap apply a character to a file, or to a tile, then it's going to be a, it'll crash immediately, right? So you can look at this menu and everything. If you did last week, you can claim your prize, but nobody can put something down, I think. We'll try this one more time for science, okay? You can move around here just fine. It's all good. The moment I press X, it crashes. All right, making sure we science. Nippon Ichi Software presents. So, no PvP for us. Humans often have the stronger DPS now. Meh. I was just going to set it up and then forget about it, honestly. Because I I doubt we're going to get anywhere in, like, online battles at all. Not that I don't have confidence in you guys, but I have confidence in everyone else grinding to high hell as soon as they can. One of the Switch Virtual Crashes too? I doubt it, honestly. I feel like it's probably going to be a PC thing for the moment. I know what you're telling me, Shining. Give me a second, then. This is the squad shop. I'll show you the way, dude. Yeah, I told you it's a PC thing at the moment, I think, for this week. A DI battle um, uh, is an automated battle run by the demonic intelligence, AI. Hover over the clear to some stage and press left bumper, right bumper to toggle the DI battle. Each turn in a DI battle consumes um, uh, pulls them um, uh, gas. If you run out of polter gas, it will revert to manual mode. Keep an eye on how much you use. Accumulate when you manually play through, op uh, through optional stages. Yep. We will get some amount of it back, I think, or possibly. You can then select the I to use in Demon Battle. The form a character demonic intelligence entry, default charge. The battles have an auto setting that deploys in order from top of the group. Change. Auto settings to character selection is okay. Yeah, whatever. All right, I'm going to do this just to test, all right? How this works. I hate how it sets everything on auto battle by default. Let's begin. Let's begin. No. But let me see. So yeah, you can use all of these now. I think you have to level them up to one and then you get them permanently, right? Shining is now a novice skull.
for Wingslayer, the name. Let's see, you only attacked twice with that. You have these skills as well, but you're not using a spear, so that's fine. It costs 480 to do that. You can do it twice only, but you would get it, and it'd be a grinding skill, essentially. Because some of the best levels to grind in the sky are 3x3 three three grids. So that would allow you to be one of our grinding units. Constitutional Rush is a new one. We'd have to level that up as well. Mastery, right? Yeah, it is I'll from the that way, one dude. girl that's getting it. So let's see how much this goes up. We don't need the twice for the moment, so. I'm 74. <laughs> to instant level one. So I believe now she has the skill permanently. Let's begin. Let's begin. Yep, it's now already almost level two, so. That put you now at 114 for just a level one beginner unit getting hit by that. Let's begin. All right, now you have that skill as well. Let's begin. Yep, you have that unlock now. This is just technically it would be easier, or it's pretty easy to rank up some stuff then. Try to cheese that. Nobody uses, nobody else uses spears or swords though, I think. Looking for something? Okay, product is now rank four, so. We're seeing a little bit better stuff, but. Thanks! Yeah. Shop. All right, so now let's make sure of that. All right, shiny will get removed of it. Just removing for the moment. Come again. And let's see if you still have the skills. If you do, then it works the exact way we thought. Where to, dude? And we can now just cheat things on anyone who wants to be a future sword user or anything like that. Sword or spear user, essentially. Let's begin. Yep, you have them now. <laughs> Let's begin. But then, what about this? Did you actually learn H uh, let HD learn on the magic? Maybe. I honestly don't know. Now you have fire at one at that. Yassi learns wind and star. The mage is gonna learn star eventually, I think. So the main question would be, can you, can they learn fire and my wind? 
Yeah, the big thing would be letting the mage learn healed, I think, as well, because she would also get naturally high res as well. So she could heal adequately enough. Which, I mean, we do have it there. We have Mega Heal and Heal. And these ones, I'm pretty sure, are unique. So that way she can't get them, maybe? I'm not sure. But let's try that setup, alright? Let's is try the squad this. Shop. Instead of Egon, we're gonna put Shiny as the leader and put HD here. Come again. I'll show you the way, dude. So HD will get Mega Eye or Fire and Wind. Yep, she can learn them as well. Let's go. Yo. I don't think she'll be able to cool, learn the new version prowess. of it. She'll only have fire base at the moment. Yo. I get someone walled by ice for this. Where yeah. to, dude? Because we're early enough, even like standard ice spells should do a considerable amount. Or just like tier one spells. So I'm going to guess by probably chapter... We're on five right now. Maybe seven. By then at least. Fodder for my spells. We should encounter a moment of just... It's no longer enough. Alright, Solo All right, Jump. Thanks, Dumba. Let's go. All right now, wind. Behold my magical prowess. Yep, with two hundred percent, four kills will let her learn a skill. Will let anyone learn a skill like that for the moment, I think. This is the squad shop. Let's put Cecilia there now. Let's make her the leader as well. And let's see if HD can do that. I'll show you the way, dude. HD. And yep, there's Wind, SPR, Magic Wall, and Mega Heal. Wonderful. Let's go. Okay, and it doesn't need to actually heal HP in order to actually level Wonderful. it up either. All right, so you now have heal unlocked. Mega heal as well. <laughs> Wonderful. Let's go. First baby turn. I mean, these have not even been used yet. I'm gonna be getting that as well, don't worry. Have to play. That's probably the most important one to get. How's that? Let's go. Wonderful. Let's go. 
going from there. I'm gonna actually put energy potion up. How's that? I was gonna test that demon eradicate, yeah. Behold, my magical we get 82 back for a couple of turns, so let's do Astral Impact. Get ready for a treat. Take this! Wait, it doesn't consume all of your SP anymore? Or am I misremembering that apparently? My magical prowess! Let's go. That was another move? Okay, alright. A non elemental, but pretty big skill. Targets, Let's yeah. Go. I guess that's that would be the way that they wouldn't get walled off by their elemental disadvantage. Let's go. Which is not bad. I'm gonna go for Mega Ice. Double that one up a little bit more. Imagine if Skull got the SP Skull. I mean, for all I know, you did not know when you learn it. Ah, that's for a test. What's your test, Angelo? Right now, we're a bit of an experimental stage for trying some things out. Lost Lambs, this is the hospital. May God watch over you. What do you want to know? May Kigan learn a buff from Perilica Healer Professor. Train yourself up. We can this try. Is shop. All right, let's see. Well, also remember that the um, uh, healer professor do not are not leveled up, so they're not gonna have like any of their big stuff. Come again! Like I don't even think they have any skills at the moment. Like right now, all she has is fire, ice, and wind. No buffs of any kind. And Perilica also all has no buffs of any kind. We'd have to level them up and get them to actually learn shit. The characters were never used. Nobody wanted them, so nope, they were never used. Hit the field, leveled up, or anything like that. on things and enhancing power it's cheap ish initially but it goes up
And this is the 10% initially, but then it can go up to 11. Armor break, it's 20-23%. And apparently you can buff the steel skill? Didn't? No, you could. The power would go to 122% instead of 100% base. I guess I just never really looked at it or did it. Or if I did, I just didn't care about it that much to notice. I it a lot. And then I probably forgot about it then more than anything else. Yeah, I'm assuming it's just a better skill multiplier. Just 144% right there. Train yourself up. Better skill multiplier. That SP jump is high though, yeah. One sixty-eight now, so we can't do it as frequently, but still good. Do we, um, uh, do we need to get Axel's wind ability? We can test that out here in a second. All right. First. Welcome to the juice bar. We need Axel to get enough of, of, enough mana to learn it, because right now he can't. I'm gonna say threaded just to do this. You want me to sign this? Going so soon. Hey, this is the skill shop. All right, electric soul. And then to convert an ability. We would need another 150, and we can convert it into a scroll, I think. Actually, no, that just puts it back. Yeah, I forgot we need to pass a bill. Yep, we sold it for we sold it for 100 accidentally there. Train yourself up. Forgot about that. I said before I did anything, so nothing here is permanent, but let's check. I'm going to use Hegon to test it out. Great skulls to gross inherit ability. That's 2000 to even try it. We said before we did anything here at Mad Alice, so this is fine on the first one. No objections here. Okay. Hey, this is the skill shop. All right, now we can create scrolls out of uh, abilities to give them to other people so they can learn it. Doesn't make it disappear, so feel free to use as much as you want. Yep. Create scroll. Scroll out of Axel. Needs two fifty. Oh hey, welcome. Now. 
a scroll. There we go. It's done. Time to practice. And now we can take that item. Electric score. Uh, electric soul. And use it on someone. Random the lowest level got to get 500 mana. Really? I'll check that out in a second then. So, Ortland, right now, you're the one that wants this one, right? Because all your attacks are wind element, I think. And there you go. And that's how easy it is to do it. You can't do uniques, I think, but that's just a way to transfer stuff around. from 50 to 20. Ah, oh, that's also a reason to do that. Yeah, your wind... It still lists as minus 50, though. I think it's not that you am a... It probably does work in practicality, but for the moment, it only shows the minus 50%. Damage taken. Yeah, not resistant. Which is still not bad. Better than nothing, yeah. And we have a bunch of these abilities just waiting around. Hell Maniac, Mana Lover, Fundamentals, Apply Practice, Tutors. Lambs, this is the hospital. May God watch over you. How much money do I have right now? I'm curious about something. A lot of our characters are doing pretty good right now. Some people are far better off than others just due to like the convenience of getting certain skills and certain things unlocked for them. More color palette fights. Oh, I am aware. I didn't eradicate. We're gonna go to that in a second. I'm gonna check them real fast. Oh, hey, welcome. Fifty-four thousand experience. More than likely, would be wanting to do that for. Uh, around thirty-three thousand right there. A little under four thousand mana. Two hundred and twenty HP. We just give someone flat. 370 SP flat we can give, 40 attack, 50, 30, 20, 85 hit out of nowhere and 35 speed. Hmm. I'm curious because so the juice bar stat stuff is that's the same as the crystals from the sky of five right the stats you give are permanent or do they last until the next reincarnation i forget that welcome to the juice bar Their perma stat boost. So from what I looked up, the juice bar stuff is separate box than base stat, so they do not change with reincarnation. Okay, that's what I was gonna Hi wonder now. about. 
if you increase someone's stats due to the juice bar, do they apply to the reincarnation like bonuses for maintaining base stats and like getting a, a bit more on top of it? Yeah, so like you can't reincarnate someone and then stat them to high health. So that way at level one, they just have a bunch of more than they should and go higher and higher. All right, so you can't do that. I'll show you the way, dude. I don't think we actually went to Star Demon World. Yeah, there's a chest here we didn't see. Lionheart. I doubt it. Yep, not good, not as good. We can get a sea a sea fairy right here. And that seems to be it. Only one fight. Sardines, of course, you'd have the pier. Inflicting binds. Right. Monochrome Sea Fairy, yeah. One second just to verify the cheat shop stuff, because I think I'm still on the skill experienced one right now. Part of me is actually very curious to do this. Experience, we don't need that much right now. We're kind of over-leveling the story, so I want to cut back on it. Mana and money, you can always use more of. And I guess we also do want to make sure that we get class proficiency at a decent bonus. I need to unlock succubus. What? Welcome to the quest shop. Okay, turn in strange field of rarity of rare high. Come again. Huh. Where to, dude? Weird. Yeah, it's a strange feeler. It's rare. It's the one that it is just there for. It's 2,000 hell. We don't mind that. All right, succubus can now be gotten. But I'm going to fight this thing now. You all right? Why don't you let me give you a few spoons to win? No. Bring it on. All right, 35, metal sloth, meh. It is technically a boss as well. And we'll say now a level 40 on the team, right, on the roster right here that we can use as, like, HP stuff. We can make sea angels already. Yeah. Clear within one turn. We could go for that just for the chest, or we can just try to kill it outright. Oh, join us anyways. And I don't think I'm gonna. I'm really hurting for other stuff right now. Oh, that's right. One on one. I forgot about that. I don't think I have anyone that can one shot them at the very least. I mean, I don't know why I expected anything different. You nearly can. Not even Astral Impacts. Damn. Yeah, you have minus 75% fire resistance, but nobody here uses fire. My strength gathers.
All right, so we're going to miss out on the um, uh, rare one. That's about it. Who needs, like, a lot of it? I'm going to say HD. I'm going to give it to you. Oh, damn, you're going to die. Never mind, you're fine. Oh, my magical that counterattack did more than I thought, but we can still do this. <laughs> Friend them? Yeah. Saying a new color was unlocked. Let's turn in what we found so that we can now create the succubus class. Then we'll go to the new nether world we have unlocked and see if there's any other colors there to unlock as well. Looking for a posting? Please come again. You don't need to befriend them to get the skin. Oh, I understand, but I'll befriend them because they add bodies to the to the counter to get more out of trying to just throw things into the base. I'll do some scouting. I have a question. What up, man? How willing are you to max out the gacha currency? Do you mean like to stop pulling and just like grind for say hours to get nine, a bunch of nines on worth like the total amount you can do? Or as in to reach the final tier of the gacha? quite easily. Oh, gotcha. Hmm. If you can find a way to make sure that we have always enough money, I'm down for it. Come again. The question and or problem would just be about resources. Alright, hold on. Let me get my for the lowest tier of money. True. This is the squad shop. True indeed. All right. Does anyone need experience necessarily? Not really. I think Mad Alice and Orlin are like the only ones that need a lot of experience. Or they're the ones that I think scale the most of level rather than mana. Cecilia? I feel like she needs more mana than anything else, but I guess, yeah. I'm actually going to set HD as the new leader. Well, Allie can do a lot, run around and get some kills here and there. HD is starting to slowly become like the, if they're within range, she can kill them. Shining here also so you can get some mana because you're going to need that to properly max out some stuff in your skills. Make sure the skills are better. Yeah. Speed of process too. We could leave one of them open, Angelo. And that's also true. We could do DLC stuff, like the Laharl map. This can be boosted once to go to 70% mana earned by the later. 
I will, why not? And instantly, we're not going above that. Ten thousand for this one to get experience up. Twenty percent experience. That's it's two hours experience gotten. True, twenty percent total. Oh, yeah, why not? Am I leading in the, am I leading the challenge squad? Maybe. One sec. Head and flight. Let me see. The leader in the challenge squad is actually HD. I think I'm, I'm the mage will be probably getting a lot of like sniping kills and that will be giving everyone a bit of mana. Get the first one there, no issues. Better skill experience. Remember the experience on skill experience of squad mates. That seems very tempting though. Come again. Alright. 